Hello, beautiful souls. Yesterday, a huge trauma happened between your partner and a third party. Your partner was feeling betrayed and lost for the past few weeks or months because they were not getting the affection and care that they deserve in the relationship. They were in deep regret and thinking that they always make bad choices in life. Your partner was so angry and hurt that they confronted the third party and demanded answers about their real intentions and feelings regarding their relationship. The third party may have denied any wrongdoing, or they may have admitted to having feelings for your partner. Either way, your partner is left feeling even more confused and betrayed. It is understandable that your partner is feeling this way. When someone you love and trust does not give you the affection and care that you need, it can be devastating. It can make you feel lost, alone, and worthless. You may start to question your own worth and wonder if you deserve better. Healing from a betrayal takes time. Be patient with yourself and your partner. With time and effort, you can both move on from this experience and build a stronger and healthier relationship. If you are concerned about your partner's mental health, it is important to encourage them to seek professional help. A therapist can help them to understand and process their emotions, and they can also help them to develop coping mechanisms. Like this video and Tight Fun 11 to heal yourself. Hey, beautiful souls, thank you for your love and support. Today I'm back with a new reading for all of you about why someone you love might hate you. It's a delicate topic, but I hope to shed some light on it in a way that is helpful and compassionate. Let's get started. I do not see the person on your mind offering you a commitment anytime soon. This means that the person you are thinking about is not likely to become your romantic partner in the near future. They may not be ready for a committed relationship, or they may not be interested in you in that way. This person isn't ready. There are many reasons why someone might not be ready for a commitment. They may be focusing on their career, their education, or their personal growth. They may have been hurt in a past relationship and need time to heal, or they may simply not be interested in being in a relationship at all. I know that you think this person is currently involved with someone else. This is not true. It is understandable that you might think this person is seeing someone else especially if they are not giving you the attention and commitment you want. However, it is important to remember that you cannot read their mind. They may not be interested in anyone else, or they may be single but not ready to date. Your person is acting this way because they have a hard time moving on from their past. If someone has had a difficult breakup in the past, it can be difficult for them to open up to someone new. They may be afraid of getting hurt again, or they may not be ready to let go of the past. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe. 